Rhode Island this year, obviously, the, the goal is to keep building. Things have been going up, up, up in the win column and up, up, up in the expectation column. And I think last year, as everyone knows, in Rhode Island, things were very, very close to being very special last year. I fully expect that Jim Barron will keep it going. He's done such a terrific job. The challenge, of course, is, is building a program to greatness in the league as deep and as talented as the Atlantic 10. I think the coaches were talking about, I think they're absolutely right. In this league, the difference between one and the top and the bottom is just so small that you could be a top tier team and go on the road and play a game that you're supposed to quote win and find yourself you know, neck and neck or life and death. So I think that Rhode Island certainly would be on in the top half of the conference easily. Should be top four if you ask me top five. I know people think I'm crazy, but that's my, my belief. I think Jim Barron's got it going that strong up there. Uh, but I do think it's going to be tricky because it's, it's such a hard league. The big thing is when a league starts getting good, it's of course it's a coach's league. And when you start listening to good coaches in the A-10, Jimmy Barron's name is right there. You know, you have a guy like Fran Dunphy, Phil Martelli, you know, they've, they've become the national names. And, and Jimmy's right there with what he's done, the way he has the program working, the kids he's bringing in. And you hear his name around all the time, and he's become one of those guys. And that's what's made the A-10 better. You know, you have to have players, but you also have to have the coaches. And he's set in that notch where he's in that group of the coaches that are the best in the A-10. And what, when you have a, a conference like this, uh, Brian Gregory from Dayton brought up a great point that you're going to play 16 conference games. Ten of them are going to come down to the last two or three possessions. So if you have a team where you have faith in a point guard and you can make them work, this is a league you can do really well in. And now it's a league again that's up to multiple bids. It's not that you got to worry, are we going to get a second team? Now you're talking about fourth teams, you know, and people going down. And, and that's what it is now in the NCAA tournament. They're up to 68, so there's a couple of extra spots in there. And it's conferences like the A-team, the Mountain West, the Mo Valley. They're the conferences that go get those spots. So it makes the regular season that much more important.